Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, it's Don W6 GPS and we're here at the Kenwood booth with more information on the new TMD 750. We got it right here. This is part two. Part one was back in Orlando. We told you a little bit about the radio. We're going to tell you just a little bit more now. We actually have the RF deck or the body and we do have uh, some interesting photos on the back, some pictures on the back. There's going to be a data, there's a data port back there, and that data port will work just like the, the 710, if you had a 710. Um, there's also a, um, a, if you have an external GPS or weather station, there's a, G, there is a uh, NEMA input or GPS input on the body itself, but don't get, be confused now, there is a built-in GPS in the head, so don't be thinking that we're going backwards, okay? Um, what, what, what we're finding out, we're finding out more information. There's going to be a whole lot of connectivity, uh, like the TNC is going to be Bluetooth, uh, the data port, and US, uh, USB-C. There is a USB-C port on the uh, control head and on the body itself. We do know that it's going to be uh, cross-band repeat, uh, 2 meters to 440. We know that. It, it is going to be a 220 but uh, 220 is, is not gonna be part of the cross band, cross mode. But we're all happy to have 220. One, another feature that I thought was kind of cool is gonna be instant APRS button where you just push a button and you're gonna go right to APRS. And so you don't have to futz around with what band or anything, it's one touch, right to APRS. Power output, power output uh, so far is 50 watts uh, on two bands, I don't know about 220. That, so that one's subject to change, so I can't really tell you what it's gonna be. Um, but it, you will have 220, that's, that's important. Speaker's gonna be in the front. Uh, nice audio in the front up there. Um, microphone's gonna be connected on the body here. Frequency tentatively is uh, 108 megahertz to, uh, to 1200. Okay, uh, no HF, no CW. No, uh, nothing like that, like on the 70, 75, okay? No, so, H, no HF receive. No HF receive. Okay. All right, so we're just gonna get that one out, just get that one out, no HF receive. Dual band recording, so you can record uh, audio at both bands simultaneously. Cross uh, band repeat, so does that mean full duplex? It is full duplex on, oh, that's what I meant to say. Full duplex, full, du, full duplex oh, wow. on, full, full duplex <laughs> on, on two meters and 440, full duplex. You made, uh, awesome. you made some people happy on That's that. right there, and and um, and I know you're gonna ask it, there is no sky command, so. Sky command, no sky command. command. No, no sky <laughs> command. So we got, we got the nose, we got kind of the nose out there. Um, there's gonna be a lot of connectivity. Uh, I've heard something about a thing called a, a reflector monitor. So it's like on the 705 or that you could actually Without going to RF, you can actually monitor a D-Star plus repeater, something like that. Again, I've asked some of the some of the experts on it, and they're still kind of fuzzy. I'm talking about D-Star experts. Mm -hmm. So there's something new there. We're just not quite sure what it is, to be honest with you. But but it, they might, I think it's the ability to monitor to monitor um, a D-Star repeater without using the RF portion of the radio. So if there's a quick question. So when you say monitor uh, the D-Star without uh, RF, you're talking about doing that over Wi-Fi? Oh, that's right. That's what I forgot about that. It will be Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi connection. Although the term uh, technically is a WLAN. Okay. So and WLAN. You, but you're saying you can monitor one of the D-Star repeaters over WLAN. That's correct. That's, that's the feeling that I'm getting. Okay. Is so, there any other functionality the, the wireless LAN will provide that you know of? Mm. No, I, d I don't know. I have to think about it. So okay, all right. Yeah. But but it is great that WAN LAN or Wi-Fi uh, is is on board. Yeah, it's fantastic. So okay, so um, now is there any special integration with the D75 and the 750 between the two of them? Don't know that one yet. Don't know that one yet. But uh, I, I I I I don't know that one. Sorry. Okay. I, I'm 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 kind of caught I'm kind of caught off guard here. So um, there's going to be a massive connectivity with the USB-C on both the control head and the RF deck. And this is an actual working unit, not the clay model we saw in Orlando, this is not right? a, this is a, uh, this is a working model uh, up to a certain point. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, 
I mean, I, I lifted up the RF deck, and it feels like it feels like it's a real radio. It's right. a real that part of it's done. I think a lot of it, what's going on is the firmware, uh, the feature development set. That stuff just takes time because they don't want to come out with something that's buggy. Right. Yeah. So. Be patient. It's coming. Any any update on when it might hit the market? I have no idea on the market. I'm I'm thinking mass production will be like in the fourth quarter. Q4. Q4. Okay. As far as delivery, don't don't know anything until it's type accepted. Right. So once it's type accepted, then then there's other things that we can discuss. But I just can't do that now. But I I, I will. All I would do is tell. I'm going to tell the people to be patient. Uh, but when it comes out, it's going to be great. It's going to be really, really good. And that's we would much, much rather take our time and do it right than, than have a whole bunch of uh, upset people. So it's just, I guess it's like wine. you got to give it time, I guess. That's, that's the a, Apple approach. That's right. That's the Apple approach, I guess. <laughs> so any other quick questions? All right. And, and as I, and they could go to the Facebook, the 750 Facebook page. Uh, we... If I get more information, that's where I'm going to post it. Uh, there are limited things that I can discuss at this moment. The main thing is, is that, that we will provide pictures on our Facebook page of the back of the radio, of all angles of the radio, so so that uh, you know you folks can um, look at it. So, but a lot a lot of the capabilities that you had in the 710, you're going to have in this radio. Plus, uh, the, as far as the D-Star portion of it, it's going to be very very similar. It's going to have the same feel as a 7. 75. So if you have a 75, you're going to be able to jump in this radio real easy because the interface is going to be very similar. So, Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Don. Yeah. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you, everybody. Like I said, Facebook page, uh, just uh, join us there, and we'll, uh, we'll give you any kind of updates.